Scoring your songs can be difficult. Or what some people would say, learning your songs. Especially when you're a choir member, you're sure to have loads of songs every week. You have to learn them, you have to come for rehearsal, and in rehearsal, you must get it right, else you have to stay longer than you should during rehearsal. You know, when choir members do not know the lyrics of the songs, it can be very frustrating as a music director when you're looking at the short time you have for the next service, and here we are. We don't even know the lyrics. How do we begin to learn our parts? Much more talking about our disposition, getting the right vocal attitude. These things can be so difficult and it becomes cumbersome if you're not careful. It can discourage you from being a choir member. And guess what? That affects your effectiveness. Even you as an individual music person, should you be a music minister in your own right? It's a problem. And so, not to worry anymore. This video is here to address those concerns. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Hi. If this is your first time of seeing my face, guess what? I am happy to see you too. And if this is not your first time of seeing my face, mm, <laughs> you're the reason we are here. So please feel free, like this video, share this video, share this video, okay? Use the comment section below this video, drop your comments, let us know what you think about what we are doing and how helpful it has been to you and to the people you've been sharing our videos with. And guess what? If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. So please click that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get to see all what we will be dropping here from time to time. <laughs> And for those who didn't know what I just said, so I said, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do me a favor. Click the subscribe button right now and turn on your bell notification so you get to see all the videos will be dropping from time to time. Okay, once again, welcome to Blessing Help series. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my space. I am happy to see you. Now let's dive right into the business of the day. From my experience as a choir member, as a music person, I have been able to identify easy steps that work for me. These steps I'm going to be sharing with you has worked for me and it works so effortlessly. Honestly, it's a ride for me. <laughs> a cozy one at that. So let's get right into it. The first on my list, put it, when I say it, I mean the song or the songs create a playlist let them be a part of your playlist for the now the now becomes those very sets of songs you have to score right now or for this week or for this period however the schedule comes or is sent out in your local assembly choir okay put that as a part of your playlist you know what that helps you it makes you play the song over and over again over and over again. That's the very first step. So you do not, it, it, again, it makes the song easy for reach. You don't have to start searching through your music uh, file or folder to see uh, where is the song, where is the song, no. Your playlist just makes it easy for you. You put it together. So that's step number one. You cannot afford to miss this. It works. Step number two. Practice active listening. What is active listening? So from when I get the email, mine usually comes via email. From when I get the email, I create a playlist, I put the songs together, I start playing. Now I start playing with the intent to get used to how it flows. Trust me, I'm sharing my personal approach to this with you okay so i just listen to it it's playing you know how you're in the car uh, and the, you turn on your radio you hear music you hear music you didn't really get to sit and start learning it 
you've heard it over and over again and somehow you know it i but you don't know it too well but you know the sound okay that is what active listening uh, pa passive listening does for you did i say practice active listening no i wanted to say practice passive listening and for me, the duration is from when I get the list of songs or the shadow till when I have that time to now sit and do the next step. What is the next step? Write out the lyrics line by line, word for word. So someone like me, I've practiced this over time. So a song can be playing. I don't need to pause in order to get my lyrics. The moment it starts playing, I already know what to write. And guess what? Passive listening helps me identify the very first word. Yes. So the moment I start playing, I already know what bam, bam, da, 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 da. Now, when I write the lyrics, I take cognizance of everything that happened in the song. The, when, when do we have the break? What's the count before the next thing that comes in? At what point do we have the bridge? What's the count? The chorus, how many times should it be done or was it done? The verses, does the song even have a verse? Some songs don't have verses. They just, or choruses, I'm sorry. Anyhow, some songs don't have these things. They, they are just straight. They are just, they are just there. Okay. Now I take note of everything. And after writing my lyrics, the next thing I do is active listening. Active listening. Now, I'm listening to the vocal attitude. I'm listening for my part, the alto part. I'm listening to the solos, as many as they are. There will be at least one that catches my fantasy, should the song have multiple leads, okay? So I'm listening out for all this. This is what I'm doing. This takes me for about 20 minutes or less, depending on the length of the song, again. How long is the song? Are the lyrics too much and all that? Okay, so this is this is when the real work starts. But I've got good news for you. If you're able to write out your lyrics correctly, in my opinion, you're already fifty percent ready with the song. Yes, I'm telling you from my experience. So back to where we are. Where are we? active listening so i'm listening out for these things i mentioned and i'm taking notes i'm taking note whether christian does i'm listening okay you know where you know how you have some words this is music okay music is life <laughs> you want to say you want to say a word like um expectations you know what someone else could say expectations it may not you may not just say nice okay you may rather want to say expectations Okay, in my expectations, you want to listen out for attitudes like this, if they exist in the song. A particular attitude helps convey the emotions in a particular song, and that helps the listener to connect with it. Do you understand? So that's what I'm trying to say about listening out for all these things. So I repeat what I hear. If I were to score God is good, if it weren't my song or if i wasn't inspired to write the song if i were to score it it's exactly what i'll do when i listen to the first line but remember i'm done copying the lyrics and now i'm practicing active listening so i want to repeat what i heard yes that's what i do i repeat it i record myself i listen to myself does this sound similar to what the original is if it's not i try to do it better and guess what happens? The moment you keep practicing, 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 you come closer to being better at it. You can even be more. Yes. Every, every artist, I'm sorry, every music minister, every songwriter writes a song based on where they are at that point in time. So you could listen to someone's song today, the next time that person writes another song or sings another song, I'm, I'm sorry, not this one. the next time, maybe in 10 years time, should that person sing another song, the sound is different. Yes, that's what happens when you keep doing something, you get better at it. So that's what I do. 
I repeat what I heard and when I'm done repeating, when I realize that I'm close to it, I stop looking at my notes. I try to sing from my mind what I've memorized or internalized. Sometimes this internalization happens unconsciously should you follow the steps appropriately. Okay, so I shut, I don't look at my notes, I just color it. Okay, and then I sing off sight. Yeah, I sing it. Sing, sing, sing. There could be mistakes, and I'll try to recall, and then I'll get it. Now, guess what happens in this very next phase? Still within this um, um, premise, what I do, I stop playing the song. I sing it by myself. I sing it by myself. And I, I try to call the words like a dictation, okay? <laughs> I, I call the words of the song, not with notes this time around. I just call them. So like this, God is good again. I say, in the morning is your face that I see. You will hear me. New mercies I see. It's your loving kindness I'm forgiven. God is good. He's so good. Oh, my soul, praise the Lord. That's how I do it. Yes. It's the very next phase, right after the other one. I do this, I do this. I could make mistakes. When I make mistakes, I stop. I go back to the beginning and I say it again to that very point until I pass it through. I, when, I, when, you, when I pause or I'm stuck at a particular point, I don't jump it to continue. No, I go back to the beginning. I could open my notes at that point in time to check and be sure that this is what it is. And then I go back to the very beginning. I say it all the way down. I do this without keeping count. It helps me internalize the lyrics. And guess what happens next? Practice. This time, I've gotten up. So usually when I, when I score songs, this very moment where I get to write the lyrics, I do it all at once, writing the lyrics active listening and all these other parts and phases involved in it i explained to you i do this all together this doesn't usually take more than 40 minutes again it depends on the length of the song but it usually doesn't take more than 40 minutes there are people who learn songs all these things i just mentioned they do it in 10 minutes yes it's training it's practice 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 remember i told you how how this has helped me to score songs faster are there songs i score faster oh sure i do some i don't even have to write the lyrics just listen to them most songs these days don't even have plenty of lyrics <laughs> back to what we're saying the very next step on my list is practice 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 i have done almost all the work at the point i'm done with active listening and all the phases involved in it in my opinion i'm 95 percent good and ready to deliver the song. The next thing I do after practice, 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 I go online, I watch live performances of the same song or of all those songs, as many as they are. Why am I watching live performances? I want to be able to match the words, the lyrics, the vocal attitude with the physical disposition. I want to be able to match it with everything I could see. At what point did they feel so excited? What word was that? At what point did they jump? What could have triggered it? Was it from the lead? Was it from the uh, backup? Uh, you know, these, these are the things I look out for. Now, that helps me. When I'm coming to minister that song, either as a lead or as just the backup singer, I do it well. Now, to wrap this up, guess what next i do i pray i don't joke with prayer oh honey i pray i just pray and sometimes it could be few words holy spirit help me as i minister the song help me to do it well help me to remember the lyrics help me to minister it in a way that pleases you and the lives of people are touched and honey guess what when you see me on that stage i'm usually different from the person you used to know I've had people tell me, they'll call me, call me, listen, look at this video. The moment I look at it, it's me ministering. They say, oh, but this is different from you. Uh -huh, it's different. That's grace. 
So you see me here, and is it that they are two different people? No, 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 not at all. It's the same person. Same grace. Okay. We need that grace to function in that office. When we need this grace to function here, we are the same people, same grace. Okay. Now, we've come to the end of this video. Please feel free. Use the comment section showing right below this video. Drop your comments. Share your thoughts. Are there other steps you think we can add to this so that we can effectively score our songs? Remember, like I always say, on this channel, on this space, at Blessing Helps series, we learn and grow together.